Hi, I'm Yogesh, and this is how I learned to create games. Soon after graduating uh, from mechanical engineering, uh, I got placed into TCS, that is Tata Consultancy Services, as an assistant system engineer, where I worked for like uh, one, one for five years. While working there, I got the realization that I had to do something big. Uh, like as in software development so i uh, explore different opportunities and different pathways like web development app development and all and i found that game development was the thing uh, that uh, interested me the most okay the first game that i played ever is mario like many people uh, started off with mario itself so I started off as a kid uh, when my uncle brought me a cartridge kind of game set that you have in the 90s. So there were games like Mario, Contra, Adventure Island and all. So Mario was the, the start for me. Before telling anyone about uh, my game development ideas, I just uh, went into LinkedIn, uh, did a lot of research about uh, like the opportunities there. And I went to YouTube, did a small game game related courses and uh, made small games. So this gave me some confidence that I can do this. And soon uh, I told my parents, they were pretty happy. They were very supportive. Uh, they just wanted me to pursue my passion. And my friends were also like, uh, they were excited and uh, like for them it felt very strange because they most of them haven't heard about this opportunity in like game development as a career. I met a lot of people on LinkedIn who were game developers and many of them were primarily from a B.Tech uh, computer science background. So I looked up uh, for certain profiles which were not from CS background. I found a couple of guys and one of them were uh, alumni of Outscale itself. And he told me about Outscale and uh, how his journey was in upscaling himself and uh, getting into a job. So that's where I first heard about Outscale. Uh, so the thing that uh, surprised me the most about Outscale is the style of the course, which is structured uh, with some learning videos and a lot of practical assignments. So most part of the course is uh, mainly assignments only and it has many like uh, projects and mock interviews and all at the end of each module. So this rigorously prepares a student uh, in a way that his concepts will be solid and he will be confident in what he has learned, right? So even while preparing for an interview or something, uh, you don't have to like revise a lot of concepts that you learned before because they will uh, already be solid in your mind because you had a rigorous practice on them through the assignments that were given in our scale. Uh, starting with, I had some basics done in C++. Uh, if someone has not done that, uh, Outscale also offers free courses which uh, helps you develop your basic skills. Uh, from there, it went on to object-oriented programming and then data structures and algorithms, some Unity fundamentals, and then uh, Unity's design patterns in C Sharp. All those advanced stuff uh, which prepares you for the game industry. Towards the end of the course came the placement pipeline, uh, wherein placement training was given uh, like resume building, portfolios, and mock interviews, etc., which uh, helped me gain confidence uh, in interviews and uh, getting better jobs. Uh, apart from the core skills uh, that we gained from Outscale, uh, Outscale also teaches us a very important lifelong uh, skill that every developer should have, that is uh, leveraging LinkedIn properly. So Outscale has, has this initiative called uh, Build in Public. So we would daily post our updates on the games we are working on and the games we have built. Uh, we would post those updates on LinkedIn under the hashtag build in public. So this was a practice done by all students in Outscale on a regular basis so that their uh, LinkedIn engagement becomes more and companies start to notice their activities. Uh, I had followed some uh, YouTube tutorials, but uh, I never cre created a game end to end completely uh, before Outscale. Uh, so the first game that I created in Outscale was a 2D platformer game that they make you do in the Unity Fundamentals module. 
so that was a end to end game uh, teaching every concept a uh, basic concept of game development uh, and the game came with a character which is uh, playable and has sounds and you know every basic thing essential things so that was the moment that i felt like wow i am i'm a game developer now so outscale allows you to participate in uh, placement as soon after you complete the unity advanced module so at that time you are considered ready for placement it's just uh, one module away from completing the entire program so you may not wait till completing the program so that's how that's where i got placed so uh, there uh, a placement pipeline happens where you get some uh, special training for placements like uh, mock interviews uh, resume building in portfolios and all uh, and after that i up started applying for uh, gaming companies online on linkedin as well as uh, their career pages and outscale also has a uh, its own uh, job portal where also you can apply uh, for the companies that are partners of outscale i got a opportunity to work in vr ar related development so uh, the game industry as such is booming and it's growing steadfastly in india especially and uh, regarding my future plans uh, like i am in the uh, vr and ar pro related projects so that also has a lot of scope uh, considering um, metaverse coming around and uh, a lot of sectors apart from gaming also like the mechanical engineering or ed tech a lot of those uh, are likely going to use metaverse or any kind of vr ar simulations uh, in those industries so they also will hire you they there is a lot of scope there as well so initially i'm planning to grow in that direction also firstly i would uh, encourage try out some uh, youtube videos or the free courses offered by outscale those would be a good start to uh, analyze whether you have the taste in game dev or not or whether it works for you or not and once you are sure that you want to go into game game dev uh, you can continue uh, learning online there are a lot of resources available uh but if you want to leverage uh and get into the industry faster then outscale is outscale is definitely a good option regardless of what city you are from or what uh education background you are from or what age you are in uh, your skills uh, are the most that matter at the end of the day and through outscale uh you can improve those skill sets and uh, it will make you ready for game industry